my name is Sandra Dillon, and I have the SDHD gene mutation for head and neck paraganglioma. Between 15 and a half, 16 years old, I began to feel a lump in this part of my neck. And I thought it was a lymph node, but it continued to grow, and I continued to feel an increase in the level of pain at the site. I went and saw my general practitioner. He felt the lump in the area, and he said, no, that's not a lymph node, you have a tumor. I was 17 years old. About 20 years later, from the first time it happened, I began to display, it was asthma-like symptoms. My doctor sent me to an ear, nose, and throat doctor, and he took time to sit with me and talk with me about my medical history. And he's the one that really asked the right questions. He's the one that gave me the opportunity to think back, and I told him about the paraganglioma. Anyway, he immediately ordered a CT scan, and when that came back, he called and said that I had tumor in the pharyngeal space. In 2013, I began to feel another knot in my neck, went back to the same doctor. He did an ultrasound on it and confirmed that it was a carotid body tumor. So he immediately began to schedule surgery. When he was in there, he knew enough about perigangliomas to run contrast through my skull base. And sure enough, he found uh, a 10 millimeter perigangliomas. It's been a, almost a 35 year journey. I believe that if you have these tumors, genetic testing needs to be a given because you need to know whether it is truly a genetic component in your tumors. And then if so, what does that look like for your family and your children?